The ceiling fan is one of the most commonly used home appliances of which the motor is an integral part. A ceiling type fan is a propeller bladed fan having two or more blades driven by an electric motor and provided with a device for suspension from the ceiling of a room so that the blades rotate in a horizontal plane. In this exercise, we are going to learn to rewind the coil of a ceiling fan motor. We shall be going through the process of dismantling a ceiling fan, stripping the coils from the fan, preparing the winding table and developing a diagram, preparing the slot liners and inserting them in the slots, laying the coils in the slots and insulating them, making end connections as per data extracted, soldering and insulating the end connections and leads, binding with a tape and shaping the overhangs, preheating and varnishing the winding and finally assembling and testing the ceiling fan. The tools required for the purpose are nylon hammer, screwdriver, insulated cutting plier, DB knife, multimeter, 500 volt mega, hacksaw frame with a 30 cm blade, soldering iron and scissors. First, note the nameplate details of the ceiling fan and make an entry of the same. Manufacturer's name, serial number, voltage, frequency, type AC or DC, watts, size of the fan, RPM, number of blades, type of bearing, bearing make and class of insulation. Then unscrew the fasteners and remove the fan blade. Take care to store the blades safely such that they don't get bent. If the blades get bent, they will produce unusual sound and airflow too will get reduced. Observe the connections in the terminal box. Mark them in a separate sheet of paper and disconnect them. Dismantle the fan and remove the stator. Take care to retain the removed screws and the loose parts in a separate tray. Untie the end connections from the winding. Trace the connections and draw a diagram of the same for your record. In the diagram, you need to indicate which wiring is in the inner slot and which one is in the outer slot. Enter all these details in the data sheet. Length of coil in millimeters, width of coil in millimeters, starting winding is kept in so many slots, overhang measured from the end of the core, type of binding, capacitor, all these things. Measure the overhang dimensions from the edge of the core and enter the details in the table. Also record the type of binding in your data sheet. Thick leatheroid paper is used instead of wedges in some fans. Finally, cut the overhang end of the coils in the middle at both sides of the core. Remember to leave one coil each in the starting and running windings for the sake of measurement. Remove the coils by pulling the cut ends with the help of pincers or pliers. Take care to record the type, size of wire and number of turns used in both the windings. Measure the weight of both the starting and main windings separately and then measure the total weight of the coils and make a note of them. Set the core if it's mangled and clean the slots. Check the bearing and if it's found faulty, replace it. Get insulation paper of the same grade and size and prepare the slot liners in the required numbers. Then insulate the slots with the prepared slot liners. In the case of a ceiling fan, 
Generally, the size of the running and starting winding will be the same. Wind the coils, taking care to maintain the same turns and the same size of the wire. After confirming their sizes, make the required number of main and starting winding coils. Please follow the coil throw as notified in the data sheet for the fan that you are servicing. Remember to start winding in the inner slots. Keep proceeding in the same manner till you have inserted all the coils in the inner slots and wedged them. Now, the starting winding. Proceed in the same manner till you have inserted all the starting winding coils in the outer slots and wedged them properly. Finally, insert sleeves in the winding ends, remove the insulation and connect the coils in series according to the connection diagram which you have made earlier. Check that the connections are as per the diagram. Solder the end connections and pull the sleeves into position. Then connect the lead wires, solder them and insert sleeves on top of them. Bind the overhang and end connections with the help of a binding thread or a tape. Take care to check the dimensions of the overhang such that it's the same as in the original winding so that the winding does not rub with the rotor. Using a mega and a multimeter, test the winding for insulation leakage, short or open circuit. Assemble the fan and run it for a few minutes. If the rotation is found satisfactory, dismantle the fan, preheat and impregnate the winding with varnish. Allow it to dry and then remove the excess varnish. Reassemble the fan and test the fan for its performance for at least 8 hours. Check for the direction of rotation. When viewed from the bottom, it should be anti-clockwise. If found incorrect, you can correct it by changing the connections of either the starting or running winding. That brings us to the end of this exercise on winding a ceiling fan motor. I hope that having gone through this exercise, you will now be aware of the procedure to dismantle the fan, strip the coils, extract data, wind the coils using a proper former, lay the coils in their respective slots, reconnect, insulate and test them for their proper working.